Again, welcome everybody. Thank you, Amanda, for uh, having us today and putting this all together. Uh, I'm really excited about sharing some things that I'm doing in my offices uh, uh, as it relates to white label aligners. Uh, I'm going to first start off with uh, we're going to first start off with a presentation, a quick presentation to give you just guys just, just a basic knowledge of how I got started with white label aligners. I started using aligners, of course, uh, well, that's, I started using aligners uh, back in like 2001, Amanda, when um, I was first out of residency. And I think my first case was a, um, was an Invisalign case, as a matter of fact, it was an Invisalign case. And um, it, in the years since, I've done, I've used numerous uh, aligner systems, including ClearCorrect and, and the various others. Uh, up until around 2015, everyone, I believe that I had gained an extensive knowledge of liner therapy. Um, I had treated almost 800 cases, and I was comfortable using aligners to treat a wide range of orthodontic problems. However, in my private practice, I always struggled with increasing aligner share per chair. Um, I believe this fundamental inability was due to me finding uh, creative ways to integrate aligners into my practice. Uh, for whatever reason, I just could not uh, increase the share for chair for uh, aligners. And you have uh, some financial things that can prevent you from getting there and just a lot of various uh, things that can prevent you from increasing that. Um, but I had, a, I had a change in mind. I had to get confident in trying to bring an affordable uh, and predictable aligner treatment to, uh, for, for my patients in my office. So I embarked on, uh, on creating an in-house white label aligner system. So in order to do that, uh, I had to gain or, or get all of the tools that were necessary to bring this uh, uh, to fruition for my patients. Uh, I purchased a, uh, an intraoral scanner from a buddy who was actually uh, upgrading to a uh, newer model. Uh, and I bought tooth movement software. Um, I ended up selling out with uh, SureSmile Ortho and uh, I love their, their setup uh, and the, the functionality of their software. Um, and then uh, I had to look for 3D printers. Um, once I got the 3D printers, uh, of course, it was a learning curve that uh, I had to, had to learn in terms of manufacturing and so forth. But that was, uh, it, it just took me a little bit of time to do that. Uh, eventually, I was able to create a, a custom clear aligner. I created, I like to say, a, an aligner system. I created an aligner system for my patients. Um, and I'll explain that a little bit later. Um, so in, in 2017, all of this came about in about 2017. Um, all the components came together about 2017. That year, about 25, no, 20 to 25 percent of the case starts in my office uh, were aligner starts. I really jumped in with both uh, feet, uh, two feet, and we really ramped it up. So I was really proud of that. And to date, about three to four years later, we're about 40% share per chair of aligners in my office currently. So that has really, has really gone well. Um, I developed a aligner system that's been well received by patients. Our in-house aligner program is going extremely well. To date, we've treated uh, nearly 300 cases ranging from comprehensive to uh, phase one. Uh, and I'm also extremely pleased with the clinical results that we're getting. So there's a couple of different models. Let's just look at the different models that we have when we talk about white label uh, aligners. Um, you have your do-it-yourself. Uh, or your DIY, uh, you'll need for that model, you'll need a scanner, like we said before, your tooth movement software. There's tons of options out here on the market for tooth movement software. Um, like again, I, I use uh, SureSmile, uh, but I'm also looking at MotionView as, as an option as well. 
Uh, 3D printers, I started out using um, Form Labs. Uh, Form Labs uh, printers are very well. They're a workhorse when it comes to uh, production. Uh, very little maintenance required for them. Uh, but I've recently bought a Sprint Ray, and the Sprint Ray is actually performing well for us too. Um, so, and then of course, you will have to use your lab equipment that you'll need uh, 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 to create the actual line. And then there's the outsource model. The outsource model, you'll need a couple of things. You'll need the really, the, in, the only thing that you'll really need in your office is a scanner. Um, so, you know, you can choose the Itero. I have an Itero. I also have a, uh, a Medit i500, uh, which is a really good scanner. We're, uh, we're loving it, and it's giving us some really good scans. Um, the also, the other component that you'll need for your, uh, for, for the, the outsource model will be your digital setup. The digital setup can be produced uh, by a couple of companies. You can outsource that to have them produce that. Um, SureSmile, again, can give you a, a treatment setup that you, that you can use. Uh, and then also Full Contour, a company called Full Contour can give you that as well. Um, and then you'll need a, a, lot of fa a liner fabrication company uh, that, can, that can either make your models or at the same time, uh, make your aligners as well. Uh, Voodoo is a company that, uh, that I've recently started looking at uh, in, in, for my aligner fabrication. And uh, we're giving them a serious look. SureSmile can do it as well. Uh, they can actually create your aligners and mail them to your office for delivery. So when we, after, after three years or, or more, of course, I have to take some uh, introspective, I guess you would call it, uh, thought and have to sit back and look at, you know, am I being efficient using a DIY model or versus, uh, versus an outsource model? And I've started to look at the pros and cons of each model. I'll share with you uh, a few of them. So with the DIY, of course, you are looking at um, a long learning curve. Uh, it took me, it, it probably took me in, uh, at least three months to really efficiently learn how to use the SureSmile software. Um, there's a lot of technical uh, functionality uh, for in that's leveraged in this software that you can leverage in the software to create really efficient aligners, uh, but it does take a lot of time to learn. So there's a big time expense, and I invested that time. It was something that I really was passionate about, and I was really curious about it. So I invested the time, and I learned how to do a tooth movement setup um, uh, pretty, pretty quickly. So now it takes me about 30 minutes to do a, a tooth movement setup. So um, of course, there's, again, the financial investment. Um, Scanners are not cheap, interwoven scanners are not cheap, uh, your 3D printers are not cheap, uh, and then of course uh, the time, you know, for your, uh, all, the, all the things that you need are, are really a, a huge investment for this. And then I had to invest in specialized staffing uh, to, uh, to help handle all this. I have a guy in my office that does, he's our digital specialist. He does all of the digital technology, handles all the digital technology. There's a lot of moving large files around, uh, you know, back and forth between, say, the printer and, you know, computers. And this guy's just brilliant with all of that. So he keeps his, uh, he keeps his highly efficient and productive. So it's, it's really interesting to look at how aligners have impacted uh, the industry. And I think that uh, in recent days, years, aligners have really become a huge uh, hot topic. Uh, we have a lot of uh, future business models that I like to call them that are popping up. Of course, uh, we like to consider or call them direct-to-consumer uh, models. Um, these uh, direct-to-consumer models are there. Uh, they've made a huge impact on the industry. Um, versus our traditional model. The in-office, uh, patient comes to the office, receives treatment from a doctor and a staff, that model. 
So I've, I've taken a, a, a really close look at this because I like to see this as a full spec spectrum. If you, if you vision a spectrum in your mind, there's a huge segment of those people, 80% of those people, 90% maybe, some people say even more, they're still being treated in that traditional uh, spectrum. Um, but there is a uh, company, these direct-to-consumer uh, companies have shown us that there is a segment of the population that is willing to receive treatment virtually. And these uh, people are, you, you can't ignore them because it has proven to be a large market. So I, I see this as, uh, as, a, as an area that has a lot of potential. Um, the state boards are looking at how, how people receive uh, care uh, when it comes to a line of therapy. And the landscape is evolving, is evolving right now as, as we see it. Uh, recently, as uh, late as October the 17th of 2019, there was new state legislature, uh, state legislature, I'm sorry, state law that was passed in California uh, that, that actually makes laws around telehealth uh, and telemedicine. Uh, these laws in specific are looking at providing uh, protection for patients in this in this regard and how we utilize all of these things around uh, aligners in access of care. So uh, in California, there they made a new law that says that, that the treating dentist uh, name, license number, and dental board uh, should include all this contact information for the for the doctor. Uh, review of the patient's most recent dental uh, X-rays prior to the beginning of orthodontic treatment. Uh, patient examination, including completion of medical and dental history and diagnosis and treatment plan uh, must be completed in recourse of the patient. The patient has to have recourse in, uh, if, in case there's something, if something happens. So in looking at all these things, I really did, uh, I really took all this into consideration before I decided to take uh, my my model, my in-house model, a step further. So in uh, mid-2019, I launched a company by the name of Atlanta Clear. Atlanta Clear is, let me see how I can share this. Give me one sec, guys. I'm going to try to share another screen with you. So Atlanta Clear is, uh, is a aligner company, all aligner company that allows patients to receive, we, we, we leverage technology basically to allow patients to have fewer office visits. And the company that we started basically is a, um, it's, 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 it's a company that is doctor guided, we're making sure that the patients are always followed by an, an orthodontist. Uh, we're using telemedicine. We are, we're, we're using a program uh, by the name of dental monitoring that allows the patient to be tracked as uh, the treatment goes along. We think that's, a very, that's very important when it comes to uh, making sure that we do our part in making sure the patients receive adequate care. Here are a couple of things here in the, uh, oh, also we have chat to make sure that patients can have close communication with us, so forth and so on. Here's a little bit about the dental monitoring piece. I'm pretty sure you guys uh, know about dental monitoring. And then also uh, the, 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 G, the GP ortho tracker uh, tracking uh, company that that is out there as well. Uh, but we have to have ways, guys, to have patients have uh, contact with the provider. I, wanna, I wanted to, in closing, I really want to uh, say that I believe that dentists and orthodontists need to step up. I think that we need to make sure that we continue to be the major influencers in 
uh, in the social determinants of health in our profession. I think that while we can leverage technology and we can use all of these tools to give patients other options for access of care, I think that we never need to let technology uh, take the place of humanity. So that is, that is um, you know, how I got into uh, Alliance Clear Alive Therapy. That's what I'm doing currently in my offices and uh, currently right now in, uh, in uh, my Alliance Center. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Dr. Fisher. That was fantastic. Um, we're just so proud of you. I can't wait to see your Atlanta Clear office when I come out to AAL in, uh, in May. So. Uh, you know what, Amanda, if you, uh, so, so back here, guys, I'm sitting actually in a virtual uh, waiting room for no uh, our liner center. What? That's yes. Not yes, this is our, uh, so behind me uh, on the green screen is uh, a scan bay. And this is one of our locations. Uh, in this location, we have two scan bays uh, that mirror each other. And each uh, scan bay is about 10 by 10. Um, and this one is connected to a uh, orthodontic office, one of my one of my offices. So we can do any, we can do a, a case that is that is like that needs IPR and additional ortho procedures. That is incredible. Who would have known? So yes, thank you so much. All right, um, we're gonna go ahead and segue and transition into Mike and Manny with Yankee Tech Digital and also with ClearMoves.com, and they're gonna tell us more about tech. They're gonna tell us about outsourcing and what some of your options are. Mike and Manny, take it away. Okay, thank you very much, Amanda, and I appreciate everybody being here. Uh, let me just share our screen here for one moment. <clears throat> 